good news out of Silicon Valley. Again, some of you might want to just shield. You might want to pause the show here and skip forward. You might not be ready for this. This is, you know, one of those things where, I don't know. All right. Um, Alexander Wang. Alexander. No E. A-L-E-X-A-N-D-R. Alexander Wang. It's a, it's a strange spelling, I think. I thought Alexander has E-R. Anyway, Alexander Wang is the CEO of Silicon, of San Francisco Bay. San Francisco. I mean, the most evil place on planet Earth. A San Francisco-based AI and software company. Um, it's called, what's the, I don't know what the, call, the name of the company is, but it's, it's a, you know, well-respected um, company. Why don't I have, why don't I have, yeah, Scale. It's called Scale. Scale. So, um, Scale AI. Thank you, Capitalist Spy. Scale AI. Uh, this is what he wrote um, uh, on a post. Uh, on his company website, post on his company website, he wrote, quote, Today, we formalized an important hiring policy at scale. We hire for MEI. Merit, excellence, and intelligence. MEI. Merit, excellence, and intelligence. He continues to write. He says, no group has a monopoly on excellence. We will not pick winners and losers based on someone being the right or wrong race, gender, and so on. Scale is a meritocracy, and we must always remain one. This is in San Francisco. What is happening to the world? Now, what is really amazing about this is not that some startup CEO um, has this approach. If you remember, in the midst of DEI mania, in the midst of DEI mania, was it in, in 2020, 2021, 2022, somewhere around there, Coinbase, the Coinbase CEO basically wrote something like, there's no politics in this office. We're here to do a job. You're here to do a job. No more politics. If you want to leave, I'll pay you a good severance package. Please leave. If you can't avoid talking about politics in the office, uh, on the chat boards and everything else. We're here to do business, not to do this other stuff, right? And um, he did that. He fired people. So that's happened. But at the time, there was pretty much silence. Nobody talked about it. Uh, he got no support for it. This time, the reception is off the charts. Basically, other than a couple of Articles in TechCrunch, you know, which has been captured by the far left a long time ago. Everybody else basically says, yes, this is excellent. Go for it, Wang. He's been praised. Now, this is from uh, Pirate Wire, uh, which is my source for, for information about Silicon Valley, um, uh, which is, you know, I don't always agree with Pirate Wire, but the, the, I, I, I've got another story from Pirate Wire. But for news on California... And Silicon Valley, uh, there's nobody better and, and uh, nobody better than them, I think. Anyway, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, the reception has been incredibly positive. Uh, he's been praised by people all over Silicon Valley. Um, you can, as the, the author of this article says, you could probably fill an entire website with quotes from influential tech figures who have recently come out from Mission First and meritocracy over DEI. Um, it, 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 and in fact, the article goes on, Balaji Srinivasan did just that. He recently dropped meritocracy.com, a site whose homepage is just a grid of pro-meritocracy tweets from tech leaders. For example, you know, usual suspects, right? Merit should be the only reason for hiring. That's from Elon. David Sachs, startup tip, you're not required to have DEI. Firing this team will immediately save costs and improve performance. Uh, Bill Ackerman is citing uh, Martin Luther King. But we've got a bunch. We've got Lulu Cheng Mezervi. I'm not sure who she is. Brian Armstrong. Uh, others, Joe Lonsdale. I know Joe. 
and, and, and basically it's all about, you know, merit. Uh, Joe Lanza says merit and its associated virtue, competence, solves a large percentage of the problem facing our civilization, improving millions of lives. The most important poli uh, policy battery are not left right. They are around merit versus virtue signaling and competence versus incompetence. These are all venture capitalists, CEOs in Silicon Valley or related to Silicon Valley. Um, you know, so uh, you can see they are, they're full of this. There's also a job board now. This is interesting. There's a job board of available positions at companies that are solely mission-oriented, that have bought into MEI. MEI, right? Merit, Excellence, and Intelligence. That's mission-driven companies. You can find there are 3,439 positions at 29 different companies as of now. It's a brand new, uh, brand new thing. So we're seeing uh, venture capitalists. Venture capitalists will have a huge influence on the, on the companies that they provide capital to. There's a real shift in Silicon Valley and San Francisco as part of that. Uh, DI is dying. And let me just say this again. I told you so. I told you so. Um, so Wang Street, he's, been, um, he, he's uh, been praised by his peers, by other founders, by other venture capitalists. Um, DI, guys, is out. It's dying. It's dying. The wacky left cannot win in this country. The wacky right can, we'll get to that in a minute, and will, it's winning, it will win, it's gonna win this November. The wacky right will, can, is going to win. And it has plans for you, well, it has plans for you. Um, so there's no right-wing, broadly-based right-wing shift in Silicon Valley. It just isn't. Like, if you look at the numbers, how much they contribute to the Democratic Party versus how much they contribute to the Republican Party, that has not changed. Two things have changed. Even people supporting the Democratic Party are fed up with DEI, are fed up with the nonsense associated with it, are fed up with the far left, and are willing to embrace an MEI proposition. Even people on the center-left and the people on the right in Silicon Valley, who have always been there, are willing to talk now, are willing to, you know, go out there and, and speak because they don't fear retribution because the people on the left, you know, are not passionate about the DEI thing at all. They used to be, but it's blown up in their face and they realize that and they realize now it's bad and evil and they're moving away from it. And this is true of Americans generally, right? right. So uh, there's clearly a shift away. We saw that in the in this uh, article the, the, the other day about uh, that I talked about yesterday, I think, about uh, the, the false the, the study nobody can replicate by McKinsey about DEI improving performance. It doesn't, right? And. Uh, you know, there's some holdouts. TechCrunch is definitely, we've talked about this before, that much of Wired and TechCrunch, the uh, technology magazines have been captured by the far left. But the far left is losing, I think, the hearts and minds of the most influential, the most important leaders uh, in the country.